Well, the valley has had some very windy days lately. You've probably noticed. And while it causes allergies and issues for us humans, it also causes problems for our feathered friends. Yup, I'm talking about the birds. High winds mean places like Liberty Wildlife get more calls about baby birds needing to be rescued because nests are being blown out of trees. I'm going to take your home away. Baby bird season, keeping workers at Liberty Wildlife very busy. And the baby will say, I'm hungry, and it's the volunteer's job to feed them. It's also the time of year they see tiny birds falling from their nests. And when we have high winds, they're some of the easiest things to fall down and, and get injured. So what do you do if you see a nest or a little bird on the ground? Education coordinator Laura Hackett says it's important to take a look around first. Depending on the age of the baby, it may be learning how to fly at this point, and the parents are, are watching it and trying to teach it how to fly. You can always bring an injured bird to Liberty Wildlife, but if the bird is unhurt, Hackett says it's okay to put the little one back in its nest. You can either bring it to us if it's obviously injured, or you can put it back up in the nest. There's an old wives' tale that if you've touched a baby bird, the parents won't return. Total old wives' tale. So if you can safely get the bird back up into the nest, put it back up there. As their busy season ramps up, Hackett says their workers handle a couple of hundred phone calls every day with questions about birds. They tell callers it's illegal to keep a wild bird at your home. Never keep a wild animal at your house as a pet. If you have to hold something overnight, that's fine. You can keep it in a box with air holes. Don't usually give it water or food because you don't know what kind of injuries it might have. If you have questions for Liberty Wildlife, head to our website, box10phoenix.com.